Warning, the video you're about to watch may cause excessive drooling, pen V, and urges to compulsively buy pens and inks. If you start to experience any of these symptoms, please contact your trusted pen dealers on the web at goldspot.com or by phone at 1-800-963-PENS. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. For beginner and intermediate fountain pen users, finding the right nib size can be a daunting and expensive journey. Just how fine is extra fine? Am I better off with a Japanese medium or a Western fine? What is this flex that everyone is so crazy about? As most of us lack the ability to test an array of nibs in a brick and mortar pen shop before buying a fountain pen, we rely on reviews and feedback from people who may not have the same handwriting style. My name is Tom Otto, and I'm a self-professed fountain pen addict. I love to use a wide variety of nib sizes and types. It's my pleasure to host the next installment of Fine Pens for Beginners. Hopefully, the advice in this video will help you make an educated choice on which nib to select for your next pen. Getting a nib that isn't suitable for your handwriting can lead to a disappointing experience. Shipping the pen back and or spending money to get the nib modified by a nib specialist. The following primer is meant to increase the potential satisfaction for someone who is looking to get their ideal nib size. The right nib size is a decision of both form and function. As an artist may select an array of brushes that suit a certain painting style, the writer has the same ability in the choice of their pen nib. Finding the perfect nib doesn't rely solely on empirical measurement, but still can be gauged by a set of criteria based on your handwriting preferences. Before exploring all the available nib sizes, ask yourself the following questions. How large is my typical handwriting? Is it big and bold or small and neat? How quickly do I write? More methodical and deliberate or loose and fast? Do I prefer a butter smooth nib or writing with feedback? Is dry time a concern? Do I savor seeing the ink shading sheen shimmer on the page? Extra fine. The size zero of fountain pen nibs, extra fine tends to be a size that is best suited for those who write small and neat. The tipping is so small and delicate that it may cause some writers to experience a scratchy feel. Ink flow tends to be on the stingier side, so don't expect to see beautiful pools of shading and sheen in the ink that is laid on the page. On the other hand, less ink on the page makes dry time quicker and less prone to smearing. Extra fine is best suited for technical, precise, and deliberate writers, and it's also suited for those who are switching from using a 0.5 millimeter gel pen or needle point tip pen. Extra fine isn't suited for writers with large and quick handwriting. People will love seeing the sheen, shading, and shimmering qualities of some inks. Fine. Generally, most fountain pens are usually available in fine or medium point. However, not all fine points or other nibs are made equal. There isn't any standard to say that they must produce at least a 0.7 millimeter line, for example. As a rule of thumb, most are usually between 0.5 and a 0.7 millimeter line, with the Eastern or Japanese nibs being on the finer end and the Western, like Italian and German, nibs being on the thicker end. Going with a fine point is still better suited for smaller, more deliberate handwriting styles. Fine nibs are suited for general purpose writing, favoring those who have small, neat handwriting. Fine nibs are not suited for people who want to show off the color of their inks or those looking for a calligraphic flair to their letters. Medium. The default nib for most fountain pen models. The medium point size might be the only option in certain pen designs. It's the middle of the road. Not too thick where smearing and bleed through might be a concern. It is also not prone to more feedback, aka scratchiness, like the finer sizes would be. Paper quality should be more of a concern with this size and larger, as the higher flow of ink on the page may cause feathering, bleed through, and show through on cheaper papers. Similarly to the fine point, some translation is needed between Eastern and Western sizing. Generally, a Western medium nib is more like an Eastern broad nib, an Eastern medium nib behaves more like a Western fine nib. Medium nibs are best suited for general purpose writing, signatures, and everything else in between. Medium nibs are not really suited for writing on cheaper quality paper or smaller handwriting. Broad. Now we're dipping our toe into the deep end of the wet and wild. Most broad nibs lay down more ink and will keep up with a quick gestural handwriting style. 
An ink's shading, sheen, and shimmer, if applicable, are more evident when using a broad or larger nib size. The trade-off is that you need to use fountain pen friendly paper to handle the volume of ink. Even with higher quality paper, increased dry time will be a concern, especially for left-handed writers. Broad nibs are best suited for quick signatures, letter writing, journaling, writers who enjoy the fine qualities of their ink on paper. Broad nibs are not suited for small note takers, people who use cheap or recycled paper, and those who like quicker drying times. Stub and calligraphy nibs. The defining characteristic of a stub nib is its shape. Instead of having a round ball of tipping material to create a monoline, the rectangular shape of the stub nib provides a broader vertical downstroke and a thin horizontal one. The purpose is to add a calligraphic flair to your handwriting. The degree of line variation will depend on how well the edges of the stub are polished. A highly rounded stub may not provide much line variation, but will be smoother than a sharper stub nib that produces more dramatic line variation. These can be adjusted and fine-tuned by an experienced nib tinkerer. Much like a broad nib, you can expect to see more depth of ink on the page with higher dry times. Stub and calligraphy nibs are best suited for aspiring calligraphers, adding a touch of flair to your everyday handwriting, and those who love seeing the depth of their ink on paper. Stub and calligraphy nibs are not suited for small note takers, people who use cheap or recycled paper, and those who like quicker dry times. Flex nib. Back in the days of old, pointed pen calligraphy or Spencerian penmanship would call for a flexible point that yielded a generous line variation with a gentle finger pressure applied evenly to the tines. In the golden age of what we refer to now as vintage, flexible fountain pen nibs were much more common and refined to be more responsive and flexible. By older standards, today's modern flex is comparatively semi-flexible, providing some degree of line variation, but by no means a wet noodle like you would find with certain vintage pens. Writing with a flex nib takes some practice to do correctly, and there is a good chance that a newbie will push it too far and break the nib. Think of flex like driving a car with manual transmission. For those who have the patience to learn and enjoy the fine control, there's nothing quite like it. Flex nibs are best suited for calligraphy, embellished signatures, and other general purpose writing when not using the flex. Flex nibs are not suited for people new to using fountain pens, and people who use cheap copy or recycled papers. Other specialty nibs. Depending upon how far down the rabbit hole you are, you may be asking about other nib types that you may have heard of. King Eagle, Needlepoint, Cursive Italic, Oblique, Zoom, and so forth. As we are discussing the standard set of nib options, we'll table specialty nibs for another time. If it is available to you in your area, ask around for when the nearest pen show is coming to town. Since there is a lack of pen or stationery shops that will let you try different point sizes, an organized pen show is one of the best ways you can experience all the nib types firsthand. Always remember to ask to try the pen first. Another great way to experience different pens and nibs is to be part of a local pen club. Ask around on a website forum like Fountain Pen Network or FP Geeks to see if there are interested pen people willing to meet up near you. Everyone brings their pens, geeks out, and has a great time. There you may just find your new favorite pen and nib to write with. Have you found your favorite nib size? Let us know in the comments below. Stay tuned for the next segment in our beginner series on writing instruments by subscribing to the Goldspot Pens YouTube channel. You can also follow us on the socials at Goldspot Pens. Have a great day and stay inky my friends. Take care.